The World Cup is here, so let's look at the final round of championship games before the big break. Every game, every team, every goal. We'll start at the top and work our way down. Get your views in the comments. I'll give my goal and team of the round at the end of the show. Burnley 3, Blackburn nil. Well done to Burnley. They go into our hiatus on top of the table after a convincing Derby Day win over local rivals Blackburn. Zaruri makes the difference in the second half. His beautiful cross headed home from close range by Barnes. Then he followed in from a Barnes volley to make it two. The aforementioned Barnes then puts Rovers out of sight. Lovely feet, 3-0. Job well done by company thus far with the Clarets leading the pack. Can't be higher than that. You'd actually have to say the same for Jean Dahl Thomason and Blackburn, despite the disappointment on the day for Rovers. Being third is mighty impressive. Cardiff nil, Sheffield United one. The Blades stay nicely in touch at the top. And gone are the days of talking about their excellent home form. It's all about churning out those points on the road for United. At the moment, Bulldog steals in for the only goal, squeezes in from a tight angle. That is three consecutive away wins with clean sheets in each game and that real sense of just grinding those points out that promotion teams often do. Cardiff, six defeats in eight and three in a row at home. They'll be pleased of the forthcoming weeks coming up on the training pitch. Bristol City nil, Watford nil. We'll shoot quickly through a nil niller between City and Watford. Hornets first draw under Slaven Bilic. They're in the slipstream of the top three and banking presumably on a good run after the World Cup. Bristol City, well they'll be pleased not to lose to what is a parachute team, but they really need wins now, don't they? Two in their last 13. Help us out here on the channel by hitting that like button. We are off to Norwich 1, Middlesbrough 2. And the good start for Michael Carrick at Borough continues as they sneak a stoppage time win down at Norwich. The Canaries lead early on through World Cup bound Josh Sargent. He joins that big bunch on nine goals at the top of the Championship Golden Boot charts. Outstanding equaliser from McGree. Brilliant technique. Scissor volley right into the top corner. Great stuff. Crooks off the bench for Borough. Scores with his first touch. His normal trick of getting up into the box from midfield. Norwich, nine points in ten games. Not great at all given their squad. Borough, ten points and three away wins in their last four. Exciting stuff under Carrick. Preston two, Millwall four. Well, I had this one down as a nil-nil candidate, but the goals were flying in at Deepdale with Millwall's Zian Fleming banging in a lovely hat-trick. The Dutchman puts Wall two up in 20 minutes. Good strength and finish for the first. Low free kick blasted in for the second. Preston, though, comes storming back before half-time. First one seems to just bounce in off Hughes, but nice big climb and header for Evans for 2-2. Two. Two. Fleming gets the hat-trick with great composure. Good goal variety as well to make it 3-2. Cresswell makes it safe from a set play. Preston drop out of the playoffs. Millwall up into the playoffs. One defeat in nine for the Lions. Coventry 2, QPR nil, And Coventry surge right up the table. Continues another win, another clean sheet and another couple of goals from their star striker, Gilcarez. The Fox in the box to finish after Allen's sliced shot falls kindly and then O'Hare's lovely slide rule pass through. Five in his last six games. QPR, will they continue to flounder following the McBeal Wolves Willie Won't He saga? That's four defeats, just one goal in their last five. Coventry, 26 points in 12, 11 clean sheets in 13. Outstanding form currently. If they repeat that over their next run of games, they are going to start to be in the promotion conversation. We are halfway there. Quick reminder, you can join a great group of friends over on Patreon if you feel you might be able to support the channel 
financially regular round table chats come and chop it up with me early access to video scripts and article drafts if you fancy it head over to www.patreon.com slash benjamin blue huddersfield nil swansea nil another goalless one here swansea's current death by draws run continues that is four draws and no wins in the last five for the swans after a really good run prior to that Huddersfield remain bottom. It doesn't seem obviously viable yet under Mark Fotheringham, but that is 12 points in 11 games under his stewardship. And staying over a point per game will keep them competitive as they search for the wins that they know they're going to need to take them up and away from their current spot at the bottom. Luton 1, Rotherham 1. Post Nathan Jones era at Luton starts... With a draw, maybe they got away with one. Late goal here following a very early one from Lindsay of Rotherham who capitalises on some sleepy early hatters defending though. Nice volleyed finish by Lindsay. Luton equalise in the last minute. Bit lucky as well. Clark Strike gets a nice deflection off his own man, Berry, to save a point. For Luton, really... No point us talking about form and numbers. The only relevant issue is the recruitment of a new boss. Rotherham, they're looking tougher away from home. Now they need to keep dripping those wins in to get where they need to. Hull 1, Reading 2. Wintery, tight championship stuff here. Not much in this and a very useful late win for Reading. Game settled by set plays. Greaves first up. He heads home Seri's corner to put Hull 1 up. Maite kind of throws themselves in for the equaliser. It's a stoppage time own goal. Long man diverts Carroll's header past his own keeper. Prior to that, the Royals had only won once in nine. So some very good timing there for the late win. Frustrating for Hull. But look, a very passable first week for Liam Rossini, who now has plenty of time on the training pitch to get his ideas across to his new Hull players. It's a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed to the channel thus far. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and do so right now and you get all our uploads straight into your feed. Birmingham 1, Sunderland 2. Another game, another surprise sort of form-wise in the championship. Good win this one for Sunderland at Birmingham in the Friday night TV game. That Black Cats attack isn't looking so blunt anymore. And it's Manchester United Loney Diallo starring in this one. First, he slips through Ellis Sims, the first goal since August for the Everton Loney. Then Diallo himself, lovely curler coming in off the right, spins it into the far post with his left foot. Jukovic, nice cushioned finish from him. Not enough for Blues, who lose only their third game in 14. I think Sunderland are going to look more complete post-World Cup than they have in previous weeks. West Brom 2, Stoke 0. Well, West Brom look like they have well and truly turned the corner right now. That is a third consecutive win and clean sheet for Carlos Corberon against Stoke. John Swift sets up Kyle Bartley for his second in two games. I won't go too early on comparing Swift and Sorba Thomas, but he could be Corberon's new set play weapon. What a strike by Brandon Thomas Asante. Acrobatic, flying, climbing, kung fu overhead volley flies in for 2 0. Brilliant stuff. West Brom, well, they just look immediately improved since Steve Bruce has gone and Corbron's come in. Stoke, five defeats in seven, not good at all. Break much needed for Alex Neal. Wigan 2, Blackpool 1. Wigan react to the second of Liam Richardson with a big, important win over Blackpool. They did get a fair bit of help, though, from Ek Potato, who swings and misses on 17. Red card. The 10 men of Blackpool do, however, take the lead. Great chest and turn and volley by Gary Medine. But two crosses into their box are their undoing for Blackpool in the second half. McLean's corner flies all the way in on the near post. Then Derrick was centre. He's headed home late on by Tilt. Wigan, big win. But again, it's all about who the new manager is. Blackpool, fourth straight defeat. Puts them below their conquerors Wigan. And all of a sudden, into the bottom two. Let's have one look at that table that we're going to see for a while now. Burnley lead the way up at the top. Millwall, up they go into the playoffs. Coventry's rise continues. 
Borough and West Brom starting to pick up as we'd imagined in the bottom half. Blackpool dropping fast with others around them picking up points. Goal of the round then. Honourable mentions should go to Diallo of Sunderland for that lovely curl. And McGree, most weeks he would win with that goal for Borough. But I've got to go for the acrobatic overhead volley by West Brom's Brandon Thomas Asante. Brilliant goal. That one. Team of the round. I had eight winners to choose from. I'll stick with the away teams. So shout out to Sunderland, Borough, Reading, all close. I'm going to go for Millwall though for their four goals and their hat-trick hero, Zian Fleming. Well, there we go. It's World Cup time now. And I was following along on Thursday as the England squad was announced. Why not click up here to see my take on the Southgate selection.